Hey everyone, Cross over here with another episode of Pokemon Sword. We left off, we were just heading outside to uh, face our rival, so let's just get right into it. Here we go, how many Pokemon have you caught? Hurry it up Cross, you gotta battle me so I can get myself the endorsement. Why do you need to be endorsed in this one? That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And do that, I need the in that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come on with everything you have so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. Of course. I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers battle, too. Those of you two, the reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I'm going to. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. Your time to play Pokemon Trainer Hop. Starts with. You only caught one more Pokemon. Wonder what it is. If you're going a bit stronger than me, my team will. Oh. Okay. Water gun. And there's one down. Two more to go. We also have level seven. Caterpie level 7. I'll just keep him out. Level 8. Water gun. He matches. Well, look at you. It seems you really, really learned your type matchups. Score bunny. Hmm? Hmm. Some more XP. Rookie D, level 9. Nick hit 8. Flip bug, 7. Now we get to see and learn home flaws. Flip up level 7. Also, you got a Rookie D. It'll be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match. Are we watching the same match? I've just knocked out two guys and you've only hit me once. Or twice. And Hop is defeated. Ooh, got it then. Gutted that I lost, but I expect nothing less from my rival. Yep, I was right, level 7. Caterpie is evolving! Let's. Oh! That was actually pretty fast. And I kind of like this set, uh, the way they make it look uh, for evolutions. Oh. Oh, so we have to go through this even when I evolve. Okay. Of course, learned Harden. You've got my Pokeball stone perfect, too. The thing of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to two of us getting stronger, right? Cross hop. Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I have little chance, but to give you both an endorsement as champion. You obtained a letter of endorsement. Okay. Yes, thanks, Lee. I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still, but plenty of rough around the and plenty rough around the edges. But it was a proper battle. 
Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every every last cell in our bodies. You hope hop, you always tend to get caught up in thing like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things like that and have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I'm I've been worried about you still obsessing over the sort of nonsense, but it seems you have really grown a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see some more th thrilling ba Pokemon battles out of you too, Cross. Alright, Cross, you and me going to train up against one another to aim for the champion's title. Absolutely. The more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. Huh? What's that? Huh? What's going on? Huh? Oh. Cross, what you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one for yourself. Since when do wishing stars fall? With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. Oh! Okay, so... That's how they do Dynamax. Trust you to pull something like this. They say wish stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their hearts, you know? I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. <laughs> Did I said it three times, so surely my wish will come true now, right? Don't be silly, Hob. Those wishes are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They're the most precious resource we have here in the Galar region. If they won't do any a thing for you in that state, give them to me and I'll have you sorted. Alright, you've done heaps of research on... Alright, you've done heaps of research on the Dynamax. But I don't know, haven't you, Professor? Then please, give Cross me the power to Dynamax our Pokemon. First, we go to... We got to battle against that mad Pokemon in the slumbering world. And now this... It feels like we're getting caught up in an adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man. But don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Seems I came back home right, at the right in time for all the excitement. Hey, Eli, why not have some dinner when you must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy... Oh, curry. I am curious about cur curry, but I, at the same time, I'm not a fan of very spicy food. And I hear curry can be quite spicy. And more. It's morning at last, and time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning to you, uh, young challengers. Hop, is it true you really met your some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Well, there was this weird heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Cross, def Cross tried to fight it off, but when now that I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. All right, fam. Fount of information you are. Cross, huh. These are for you. Ooh, we get to see our first Dynamax, I think. So, like a Z-ring? You got a Dynamax band from Professor Magnolian. Slipped it on your wrist. Okay. Those are Dynamax bands. I made them fitting, fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like one of the one Lee has on too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you find it's not so simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Now, don't be afraid and to go all. All sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon that will help out with your Pokedex too. The legend of my reign is finally about to begin. Come on, Cross, I'll beat you to the station. Okay, oh, oh, okay. Whoops. Oh, okay, so this is just a online thing. Okay. Nope, I don't want to do anything. 
Our last time before we race cross. See, I've got to get some advice from you. You know how sometimes you see Pokemon wander and bottom tall grass, yeah? If you move really slow and crouch down, these Pokemon won't pay you any notice. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, they'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember that this need a fail-proof trick. Press the left stick. Oh, can you whistle? You remember which uh, her station, right? Where we met up to pick Lee up for? That's our goal. See you there. Let's catch you since we're here. True tool. Did I say that name right? Since you are strong against water, I'll use that to weaken you. Because I can get two waters off. Okay, so that's probably what that symbol is beside me out is that he can already go uh, di you can already use Dynamaxing with him. Use one of the Pokeballs. Bang. Twelve. Cool. Wait, what? I'm learning. Yeah. Yeah, I'll learn that. I'll get rid of bind. Or... No, I don't... Wow, you learn... A strong attack pretty early on. Let's get rid of growl. Just in case I need a bind for uh, catching. Well, that's actually... Kind of overpowered to have that so early. Send a box. Now I still need to get a Wooloo. Oh wait, hang on. Oh, you're following me. Yamper! Water gun. This water pulse is probably too strong for it. And let's pound it for one for a little more damage. I can do one more. Oh, oh shoot. Oh shoot. And I'm paralyzed. Yeah, let's just try and catch it now. So, it's the electric type, apparently. Well, maybe. We'll find out in a second here. Bang. Gain some experience points. We have level 8. And keep old moves. I like what I got. And level 8 for Metapod. So it is the electric type. I could have swore it was going to be normal. Send a box for now. They just, they're just not even in grass. Does that mean they're just... Hmm. So they could just be lying all over the place. Oh, here we go. Back to Wedgehurst. I saw something shiny. Oh, cool. 
Hmm. What do you say? Oh, okay. Just hop sneaking up to the station. Oh gosh, I've never been to the station at that pace. Maybe now I'll be able to buy Pokeballs. Yeah, as a little side uh, challenge I do whenever I play Pokemon games now, is I don't use any Great Balls or Ultra Balls. No special, no, no Pokeballs besides just a regular Pokeball, the starting one. Oh, oh, Swift. Does, do you, so if I don't catch any Pokemon, does he not give me that, or will he still give me that? That's a technical machine, a TM, mate. With a TM like that, you can teach your Pokemon a new move in a flash, and you can use them again and again too. That won't get you to move swift. Lee gave it to me ages ago, so now it's yours. The gym challenge will begin in Moto Stock. Our train's waiting, so let's go. Yeah, I like that they did implement that where TMs don't just disappear after you use them because in the originals, for like, I think it was like four generations or something like that, after you use a TM, it that was it. it you couldn't use it again. It's gone. Not quite so fast, you two. What are you doing here, Mom? I knew that it was going soon the moment you chose Score Bunny as your partner, darling. Professor McGlowney was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So here, at least a little get to see you well set. On your way, all the kits you needed for camping. Camping? I'm curious about this camping thing now. No matter what happens out there, if you and your Pokemon get art together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mom, and just think how lucky you are. Mother to the first ever pair of champion brothers. Because I'm certain to be the champion next. You'll see. Of course you will be, darling. Anyway, do, you, do have fun and take care of yourselves. And you'll be welcome home anytime. We're off. Wish, wish us luck. Not that we, you'll need it. There are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. Mike Simmons running ahead, and me even faster than the train can go across. Come on, we're off. Motorcycle is surrounded by a vast, wild area. It's a real sight. There are all sorts of wild Pokemon just wandering about everywhere you look. Plus, you can camp out, do a spot of fishing. I don't think I could ever get tired of it. Oh, this is that free roam part I think they were talking about. Or showing. I guess I'll find out in a second here, won't I? Hey, Mr. Station Master. Isn't this the wild area? We're, we're supposed to stop here for? Yes, the, this is the wild area station. Make no oh, mistake. Excuse me. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of Wooloo on the tracks. What are you sorry about? That's, this is brilliant. Brilliant? The wild area is massive. There are loads of Pokemon about out here. You get it, don't you, Cross? This is the best place, uh, best possible place to put together the greatest team. Okay. Ooh, it's fine up. Oh, okay. Don't need to worry about that. Wow. Okay. Now, these pillars of light, I believe they're the raids that they were mentioning, too. I guess go to one and I'll find out. Look at that. 
this is actually really nice. That's Motosog, way off that way. And between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello, if it isn't Sonia. My grand gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young children sent out on a journey, but what are you doing with your life? Ouch, Professor. I <laughs> never mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I've been quite curious about this Pokemon you two met in the forest. I've been thinking I should look into it so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Gran will admit I've got some talent. Yikes, being an adult has got its own challenges, eh? No kidding. I said you need to worry about that. I'm glad to be on the road, really. It's been ages. It's been great fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. Well, I'm off to go stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find. I'm going to battle the snot of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill it in another page in the tale of legend. Of my legend. So those are Dynamax Pokemon. What cheek? Dynamax Pokemon are real on another level, you know. You better Dynamax your partner Pokemon too if you want to take on opponents that strong. You'll find spots here and there in the wild area that emit a red beam of light. If you think you're up for it, check them out. There'll be a Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat for me? Pokemon Box Link. Okay. I would device that allows you to access the Pokemon storage system. There's some place where it won't work. Oh. Okay, that's that's cool. With a Pokemon box link, you'll be able to put Pokemon from your team into your boxes or take Pokemon out of your boxes to add them to your team. Nice, right? So well, go wild catching as many Pokemon as you like and fill in some more of your Pokedex. The wild area is awaiting for you. This is the start of your real adventure. Okay. I'm going to go straight to a Dynamax Pokemon. And I'm probably going to get killed. <laughs> One way to find out. Oh, whoa. Okay, so now I have a, a 360 uh, viewing. <laughs> oh, hang on. I don't know, did someone drop it? Quick answer campsite it can restore HP to your Pokemon, even the PowerPoints they've used. Uh, the Pokemon that are fainted can't battle any longer will perk over. Oh. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, I'll shake it. Two cherry and an orange. Hmm. Okay, something tells me if I shake that too much, I'm going to get a run into a Pokemon. Here we go. The pillar of red light you see in the water marks Pokemon dent. Pokemon, uh, Dynamax Pokemon dwell in these dens, and you'll be able to battle them by investing in the den. Oh. So, this is, oh yeah, this. Okay, uh. Max Raid Battles. To beat a Dynamax Pokemon, you'll get a chance to catch it. Additionally, there are some rare items you can only attain by battling them. When Wild Pokemon Dynamax, they become incredibly powerful. They may unleash multiple moves in a row and take other actions you won't see in a regular battle. Okay. Invite others? Let's... Searching, okay. Okay, I'm ready. Let's see if I can get someone else in here before I finish here. Wait, is that what I'm battling? Mm, I'll wait until it says the two minute mark and then I'll just go in. 
we'll get to see enter our first Dynamax battle. Do I have... Hang on. I... I'm just going to start. Yeah. So it, does it just like some CPUs this time then? Looks like it. <laughs> Holy crap, you are big. Okay, so it's let's go max geyser let's take a look at this holy crap <laughs> that's a big pokeball that's cool <laughs> So I don't need four other actual trainers. I can just battle with some randoms. Max. Holy crap. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Uh... Oh, okay, so unlike normal t catching things, it's you just gotta. Uh... Holy crap, that's a uh, big. Yeah, let's just keep using that. Okay. Oh, what's going on? A double kick? Okay, so yeah, you can't actually catch them the wrong way. You, it looks like you actually have to defeat them in order to be able to catch them, maybe. I guess we'll find out in a second. Oh, it's weak. Throw a football now. Catch. One, two, three, and bang. That's, that is really cool. Oh, oh. Hyper voice. Uh, doesn't tell me anything about them. Dynamax candy. Hyper -book. Okay, I guess I'll have to take a look at that when I'm out of here. No, I don't need to give you a nickname. Send it to the box. Oh, okay, so this will recharge. Okay, I gotta find out what the heck that was. Bag. Uh, okay, not berries. Other items. A candy that is packed with energy. When consume it, will grant a single Pokemon a small amount of it. Oh. Oh, that's that's kind of cool, actually. Okay, so that's a uh, small, extra small. Okay, Dynamax candy. A candy that is packed with energy. When consumed, it will raise the Dynamax level of a single Pokemon by one. A uh, higher level means higher HP when Dynamaxed. That's cool. 
Oh. Oh. Okay, that's something new. So TR. I'm good. I don't know what it stands for, but unlike a TM, it's a one-time use item. I I like that. Oh yeah, that's that's really cool system. I'm liking that a lot. And I have some Pokemon to catch after this. Well, what are you? Is that, that's a bloody Tyro. I guess I gotta catch three of these guys now. I can't remember how they evolve, though. Okay, uh... Oh, nope. What am I doing? Water Pulse? He's level 10. Water Pulse is too strong for this area. Rockety level 10. Nick hit level 9. Or bloop. Oh, oh yeah. And flip bug level 8. Okay, it looks like I'm going to be looking for Tyrogues the next time. Okay, I guess it, after a while it will recharge. Maybe if I run into some wild Pokemon, it slowly builds up. Or walk around. I don't know. So, that's actually all the I'll be able to do with this episode. So, we got to see. A, we got the Dynamax guy. We entered our first raid. I, I guess I could call it raid. Okay, so in order to do a raid, you can battle it by yourself and it'll just, like, I guess three CPUs. Or maybe if I'm traveling around and I'm have some friends that play I could be in I'm near them I can battle with them instead either way that's this is a, that's a really cool design so if you like this video hit that like button subscribe and I'll see you trainers in the next video